Hey everyone, and welcome to the Satchel Demon Guide to get better at satcheling. Or, or, or to become a satchel demon, of course. And the uh, first thing that you should do is if you're having a hard time satcheling, you should change your satchel keybind. If, if is it already thumb button? If you have it on E or Q, E, C, whatever, you have a hard time moving your moving your body around because you're gonna have to use your fingers to touch the satchel and move left, right, down. Satchel out. Satchel out. So you have full range instead of to touch every key. And if you play other agents and you want to change your your keybind for for raise, you just make an agent profile for raise. You know? Okay, so to the basics. Satchel out. The farther away you are from the satchel, the farther you go. The closer you are, satchel out. the higher you go. That's what everyone that messes up. The first satchel is what messes everyone satchel up. Out. People activate like this. Like you get some distance and you get some height and you activate like halfway. But if you activate like way, way farther away, you get more distance and speed. Satchel out. And we can do this for this example. You're high up here. Satchel out. You can activate it. You get some height and you get some speed, but not as fast if you activate it when you're farther away satchel from the satchel. Out. Like that. It might look like the same to you, but trust me, it's the big difference. So I'll just do some examples. Satchel out. Satchel out. That's when you're satcheling farther away from the satchel. Satchel out. This one's gonna be. Satchel out. Yep, you go higher because you don't give yourself enough height to fly down the middle. So. Satchel out. And what that means is. Satchel out. Means that since you're activating earlier, because you wanna. Satchel out. Activate it earlier, and you're higher earlier. You're gonna get more height generally. Satchel out. Like that. That was like not as bad. Satchel out. Satchel out. But you, you're going pretty high, so. But, and you lose a lot, of, some a lot of speed when you go pretty Satchel high. Out. So you should just wait, like. like Satchel out. More speed. And a good rule of thumb to know is that if you're going for speed, you should activate satchel your satchel when your feet is like the middle of the structure if you're, uh, uh, that you're satcheling off of. So if it's like right here, you should activate it. Satchel out. Satchel out. Like that. And remember to always wait like a half a second if you're going for speed. But if you're going for height, you, you can just activate like right away or satchel just spam out. it. Satchel out. Spam, See there, I activated my satchel first satchel too early, so I went for height, even though I waited a second. Out. So I'll just do it again. Out. That. And to satchel uphill, I'm gonna throw out. your satchel like uh, like the middle, like almost at the edge satchel out. of the hill, and then you can just jump. When you're like farther away, so like throw my satchel there. right here and activate like right here. There. Just right over here. Satchel out. Satchel out. That was pretty bad. I just don't Satchel out. Satchel out. Yep. So I activate a little bit, a little bit quicker. Satchel out. Because since I'm not jumping up like like a box or any height, you're, satchel out. you could just activate it as soon as you want. Satchel out. There, I waited too long. Satchel out. Satchel out. I mean, way too early. And there, I waited the perfect amount. And some tips to satchel from no height or just like flat ground. Satchel out. It's gonna be like three meters there. away. There. Three to four there. meters away from the satchel. Satchel out. Some distance. Satchel out. That was pretty bad. Let me try it again. Satchel out. Satchel out. Just like that. And I clicked it right away because 
since it's no height, you're gonna have a better time just going around. But there, I waited a bit. And some example, I do from uh, A short, just the entry I always do. Set right here. So I usually do it right away so I get back to it quick. Or if I want to go over, same spot, I'll do it right away. Right away, faster than the previous, previous Satchel, if you know what I mean. This is waiting a bit, waiting like, like half a second. With this, I could just spam for height. And also, to follow your gun when you're satcheling, you want to pull it out when you're in this animation. The second animation, you should you should be uh, spamming your one key. Right, right there. Like the end or during the second animation, you press you spam one, two, whatever you gun. Then your gun should pull right out instead of like being delayed like. Oh, like that. That's pretty slow. And if you don't press one or whatever, you just pull out your knife. Sometimes I forget to press one, I just pull my knife at them, but it happens, you know, it happens. Some other tips or advanced tricks you could do. Like this jump. You see a lot, a lot of like, you don't see many people, they throw the satchel, then they instantly turn to like decal. That's pretty advanced because you gotta like time it correctly because satchel is all about timing and positioning. So if you throw it too early, you might, you might fuck up. You might throw it too far. Just wanna time it correctly. And jumps where you use your satchel to push yourself back, like. That was pretty bad. Hold up. Like that you want to like not have as much momentum going because when you first first satchel you just shoot up and you try to satchel back you're gonna like drop straight down because there's you still have four momentum so you're just gonna drop straight down instead of going the other way so what i like to do or i just hold s after like the end of the momentum that usually should push you back but there it didn't push me back it dropped me straight down so yeah again it's much easier when you just use satchel you shoot some bullets like there's a sample you just sat yourself back since you already stopped no momentum you could just sat in front of you, turn quickly, and jump third away. Or you do like this. Let's wait to play. That. Also to keep in mind that you want to practice your air strafing a lot because you don't want to be bumping to walls and shit. Cause you, you get a, if you get a hang of your satchels, you also have to get a hang of your strafing. You get a lot of distance with your satchels, but if you're, if you're just hitting the wall, you're just, you're just gonna stop your movement. Like that, you just hit the walls. Just some basic strafing, you just you know, jump, press A, D, turn around, turn around, look the other way. I use it left and right, and it's way easier to, for me. Personally, it's just just scroll wheel, so I just do like a mindlessly just, just jump around this container. You have a low sense, it may be hard if you're not used to turning a lot. Then when you saturate, you can use it pretty much. Because when you, you, you start just like a random place, you can make sure you don't the wall. You see how I dodged this corner by moving right and left. Like that. So if I were to not dodge it, I just hit the wall. Like that. And you don't want that happening to you. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty miserable. To get better at satchel, you want to practice your strafing because when I satchel, I press spacebar to jump for satcheling. And then when I'm landing, 
I scroll wheel to jump to gain like some extra momentum. So space bar, I scroll wheel. I gain like so like three there. meter distance from scroll wheel at the end. I prefer that. You want to try space bar? Or do that. Just whatever works. Just whatever works for you. They usually, you, if you want to practice your slashing, you can just freestyle it. Just go on like a, like a big or a tall object. Just speed. Just the heights. Or you can practice delaying your satchel to get some distance. Like that. that right there, I waited like I waited like one second. Of a half a second. You know that everyone's not perfect. Practice is key, you know. For everything, every skill, you just gotta practice. It's not that hard. Most people just fuck up the first chapter and they like just, just skip up, you know. Activate too quick instead of waiting a little bit. Like that. And also, the higher you are, the farther you could go. So you're like up here. Just throw your satchel down. Go far from there. Compared to like if you're on the ground here. Can't, you don't go as far, you know? Since you're jumping off a big structure, you get more more air time and more distance for sort of jumping like that. Compared to like a short jump like that. Satchel out. 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 a little good practice. Satchel out. Satchel out. Satchel out. Satchel out. Satchel out. In some like regular satchel stuff or your ult, you always want to pull your ult. As you activate your first satchel, then you instantly pull out your. Or you could do the half thing like you wait half a second and pull out your cycle satchel. That should like 90% cancel the old the animation. Sometimes it might fuck up. So I'll just do it. Again. My ult's ready. No animation. That's what you want. Okay, so misconception of satcheling. If you throw your satchel while you're on the high like this. You want to activate it on the same level, or like a little bit lower, like, like right here. Satchel out. Satchel out. But usually, you will want to like activate it like right away, or wait half Satchel a second. Out. Satchel out. That's me waiting half a second. Satchel out. Satchel out. I'm letting myself fly for a bit, then I activate second satchel, and generally, you're not gonna fly up, so... You like some like elegant flying. Cause you activate it way too early, you know, just like that. You can always activate it like instantly if you want to. I'm hitting the border, so... I'll do it from here. Satchel out. Satchel out. Some distance, but not as much as you just throw it down. Satchel out. Satchel out. Gives you more leg room. Satchel out. Satchel out. Satchel out. You gain like three meter distance, and that's everything when you satchel. And then when you when you gradually get better, you can just throw your satchel as you jump. Satchel out. So like satchel out. Instead of like having to throw your satchel. Satchel out. And if you're like behind behind cover, you gotta go back then. Satchel then your out. Satchel. Satchel out. Much slower. You, people, you know I mean, the enemies might hear you satcheling or getting ready to satchel if you like, do lineups because it doesn't be. They might get ready for you, but you're just satcheling as I jump. You have less time to react. You know, the element of surprise. Satchel out. Satchel out. That's mostly everything you should know to be a special demon, other than.
change your sense if you want to change your uh, sense because my sense right now is 1.2 and 2000 dpi so i can shake like this sorry for the motion sickness because if you're, if you're gonna be satcheling over people or fast people you're gonna have to have enough reaction time and sensitivity to react after them, you just instantly turn around and shoot them, you know? The demonstration. No, or, or Vando, does it really matter? Also, oh, also. Just like that. It's not rocket science, it's just people just get it wrong sometimes. Or find a concept way too hard when it mostly. After like, I don't know, like maybe like a week or a month of practicing, you just like get natural at it. Satchel out. Satchel out. Satchel out. Yeah, that should be everything for now. I might, if there are some unanswered questions you guys might have, I might make a second part or, or like a YouTube short, depending on how many questions or Satchel out. tricks Satchel out. I learn. That you see me do my videos. So, yeah, that is the Satchel Demon Guard. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, follow, uh, everything, you know, like, follow, subscribe, everything. See you later.